hair looks a mess. My wig. My wig ain't on, y'all, so don't mind that. Um. I want to talk to you guys about something that has really been bothering me. Um, this video was not like, I wasn't prepared to do this video. My hair is not done. My hair is a mess. Um, but I want to talk to you about something. So I figured, you know, while I have the time, I will come on and I would, you guys can also ask questions. Um, but I wanted to address something and the reason why the cover of this, um, the reason why that picture is the cover of my video is because I've been getting a lot of feedback in regards to like glueless. I did a glueless tutorial on one of the methods that you can use for a glueless. Um, and I've been getting a lot of people saying like, oh, you're saying that it's glueless and it's not glueless if you use got to be glued. Um, which I need to clarify that um, because it's very clear that people don't know what they're using and, and people don't know, don't read um, what it is that they're using. So I want to make sure that I make it very clear. So maybe the person that is saying that will have a better understanding of what they're using or what they see somebody else using because you don't want to sound ignorant when you don't know what you're talking about. You know, like you you think you know what you're talking about, but you don't really know what you're talking about. Um, yeah, so before I start to get on that topic, uh, I mean, well, to elaborate on that, I want to ask you guys some questions. If you are a lace wearer, so one, um, I want this to be a very open discussion. I don't want it to be people in here that are just like being weird and like staring at the camera and, you know, well, staring at their phone or their computer and just not saying anything. I want it to be an interactive conversation so we really can get um, some information out there and, you know, really talk about what it is that's happening and what people are using to hold down their lace. Um, so first and foremost, where is everybody from that is watching right now? Um, I'll always ask, you know, where everybody is from and where they're watching from. Cause that's always nice to know. Um, Atlanta, yet yeah. I wanna move to Atlanta so bad. I want to move to Atlanta so bad. PA. I visit PA very often. Um, I'm in PA very often. I'm actually going to be out. I'm going to be in PA next month. I was supposed to be in Atlanta at the end of the month, but I didn't realize that Thanksgiving is the same weekend that I'm supposed to be out there. So I don't think... I know, like, I know everybody's moving to Atlanta um, because it's like the next New York and it's affordable. Um, PA, um, I'm usually in Reading. Um, I have a friend who lives in Bethlehem, Michigan. Um, yeah, I want to move to Atlanta. Uh, every time I go out there, I just love the energy when I'm out there, like, you know, it's a lot of black support in Atlanta. I always get that every time that I'm out there. Um, it's just, you know, the, the love. That's an hour from you. Um, it's very, like, quiet in PA. Um, I'm actually going to be in Philly um, December 14th, I believe. Um, I'm going to be in Philly. I got some stuff that I need to take care of in Philly. So I'll be in Philly in the 14th. But it's just like a pop in, pop out. Not a, I'm not, I won't be there for a long time. I'll probably be leaving the same day. Or I'll come the day before and leave the next day. 
Um, but yeah, we welcome all here. So was Atlanta will love. This is what I'm saying. Yes, New York is in the building. This is what I'm saying. Like, I feel like I need to be in Atlanta. You know, like, even though it's so many stylists in Atlanta, I still feel like I belong there. Like, here is stylists here, but it's a different type of energy. You know, like, it's just not the same. It's really not the same. Um, okay, so I want to start to get into my topic of discussion. I don't remember the exact title that I put, but I know that basically um, I'm in New York. I'm located in New York. Um, basically, I want to talk about got to be glued and other adhesives that I am familiar with. I feel like you need to be in Charlotte because I'm moving there next. <laughs> and you know what's so crazy? I get a lot for North Carolina and South Carolina. I get a lot of a lot of feedback from there. Um, I have a good friend that actually lives in South Carolina. She lives in Charlotte. Um, we just did an event together. And she's been saying that too. She's like, damn, I'm trying to get you out here. I'm trying to do this. I'm trying to do that. I told her if we could put something together... Um, you know, we could put something, is this food in my hair? Um, if we can put something together, you know, and get some stuff done, we definitely can. Yes, Brooklyn. Um, see, y'all be getting me off my game. All right. So back to what I was saying as far as, um, got to be glued. Okay. So what is got to be glued? We're going to talk about that. Like, so I have... Both bottles, the yellow bottle and the black bottle. So, first and foremost, I'm going to read both bottles. So, the yellow bottle says, number one styling glue in the U.S., right? And then it says, got to be glued styling spiking gel. Spike grip, extreming, I mean, screaming hold, spike grip chunk. I not really, um... I don't really know what that means, the spike grip chunk part. Um, but um, create spiker styles is for hair that ain't going nowhere. Push through hair to put in a, in place. Twist tips into stand up straight spikes or distribute all over for the unstructured messy look. Deliver its hold so strong, it's wind tunnel tested. Your style will last until your next shampoo. And of course, we wouldn't forget um, this part. It's water resistant. Use on damp hair. Squeeze a small amount into palms. Rub hands together and distribute evenly throughout hair. For over the top spikes, apply to fingertips and pull through hair twisting at the tips. Cool tip for extra grip. Slightly dampen tips of spikes and reapply a small amount of glued formula. Get your spikes super stiff, a long lasting hold. Finish your style with a shot of got to be glued blasting freeze spray. Okay. Um, blah, blah, blah. trying to think of anything else. Okay, so now this. Definitely says styling spiking gel. This is meant to be a hold for like, you know, it holds the object of this. The, the whole ob objective of this is so that you can have a maximum hold. Like you can put this on and it'll stay. First and foremost, this does not say it's designed for lace. It says that it's designed for spiking. It's supposed to go on your hair directly. So I don't think that if this was really glue, that it would be going on somebody's hair directly. Because it definitely says apply to your hair directly. And it says it works best with damp hair. So if this was glue, I think it would be saying you don't want to put it on your hair. So the whole thing, the whole purpose for this is so that this, you know that this is going to hold you extremely well extremely well and it's going to act like glue so that you know you can get a maximum hold of your hair if you're wearing you know how you know people like to spike their hair they do the little mohawks and stuff like that um that's the yellow bottle for whoever wasn't on before but that is for this bottle now you have 
got to be glue gel um invincible styling gel it says ultra glued y'all see that this one says ultra glued and this one says um got to be glued right so now this one this gel's hold is no joke so put it down and um and slowly back away if you're not up for our strongest gel hold ever. This non-sticky no flake formula is powered by a high tech styling agent. We call it Alpha XTR. Call it what you want. It lets you take your hair to new heights or do your own thing and cement your individual style. And when the party comes and ends, Easily unglue with a little shampoo. Go ahead and style away. Directions. Use on damp or dry hair. Squeeze a small amount into palms. Rub hands together and distribute evenly throughout hair. So, we have another one. Same thing. Same brand. Just one comes out clear. This one actually... Okay. You guys can see... If, well, if you're familiar, this bottle is like... You see that one comes clear, comes out clear, and this one comes out white, but this one dries clear. So, in my video, before I move on to, because I have two more lace glues that I want to talk to y'all about, um, but before I even move on to that, I want to, you know, kind of capitalize on what I was saying um, about this. So, this is gel. I, we just read the bottle. We just went over the directions. We just went over, you know, all of that stuff. This is gel. You put water on it, it completely goes away. My video that I put up for the glue list, one of them, which was the one that I have the cover photo of this, um, this video, we didn't use anything here. Your ear tabs, we just put a little bit of the gel here. Now, people are asking me, like, how are you saying that this is glueless if you're using got to be glue? Girl, you don't know what you're talking about. Let me explain something to you. When I'm using something, I make sure I pay attention to the directions. I make sure that I pay attention to ingredients. You need to know what's in stuff. You need to know what you're doing. Just because you may see somebody or you may have heard somebody say got to be glue. Yeah, that's the name. And it's not got to be glue. It's got to be glued. So you need to really understand what it is that you're using. Gel, um, you put it on, it comes out with water. That's why a lot of times when people, if you do wear lace, anybody who's watching this video, if you do wear lace, it doesn't hold. It does not hold when you get outside and you sweat. Like, it will hold now because, well, in New York, it will hold now because it's really cold outside. So, you wouldn't even have to worry about any of that because it's cold. But as soon as it gets any type of moisture, it comes right off. Um, so, that is, the, that is what we're talking about as far as the got to be. Now, I don't know if anybody's familiar with this right here. Um, this is Salon Pro, the 30 Second Salon Pro Lace Wig Bond. It's extreme hold. Now, I want to show you how this comes out. This lace glue has acrylic. If you smell this, it smells like a chemical. Like, I don't use this unless somebody, you know wants me to use it unless somebody's like you know day i am familiar with using this this is the product that i use this is what i want you to use i have a client she likes this i don't um i use this on myself years ago in the salon that i was working in um for uh this is when they were doing fusion i don't know if anybody's familiar with fusion but that's when i mean not fusion sorry um what is it called when you may, I can't remember the name of the actual technique, but it's when you cut the hair off of the weft and then you kind of put the glue on the end of the hair, the tip of the hair, and then you place it in your scalp to make it look like a part. Um, I'm not, I, I can't remember what it's called, but it's been so many different techniques and so many different styles and stuff. I can't remember, but this is what this, I use this for. No, you would not use this for a quick weave. A quick weave. You would use which is, I also have that too. Hold on. Um, you would use, um, oh, here it's on the floor. Sorry, let me pick it up. Hold on. Oh. This is what you use for a quick weave. 
this is what you will use. But I'll get into that too. I'll get into this too. We can actually talk about that too. Thank you for actually asking about that. Um, an invisible part. I know it's not an invisible part. I don't know if it's called the same thing, but me, my, my knowing of what an invisible part is would be when you take the tracks and all the tracks lay this way and then you're able to swoop the hair this way so it looks like you have a part in the middle. You can glue that. Um, but I'm talking about when you take... Um, I don't even have a piece of hair. Well, when you take the hair, let's say this is a track, right? Let's say illusion. Yes, yes, yes. That's what it is. You take the hair... You take the hair, let's say this hair is on a track, and you cut this hair off. So when you cut this hair off, you're going to have all of these, like, you know, it's going to be cut. You're going to have all of these. This is going to be just there like that. So you take it, you take the glue, and you actually put it on your part. And then it makes it, it's supposed to make it look like it's a scalp. Um, but I, I don't know. I tried that one time. I absolutely hated it. My scalp was itching. Um, yeah, so this, you have to be very careful with this. This is a glue it has acrylic and it smells like a chemical and it is very harsh so if you have clients um and you've never used this before or on yourself and you've never used this before you have to be very careful i would suggest you do some type of skin test you can always put it um i think this is food in my hair you can always put it on your your skin like you can do a skin test so you would take you would take this and it's super messy. This is another reason why I don't like using this. Because one, if you're trying to move fast, this is kind of hard to use. Like, you have to dip it and then you see how it's like, it's like this. And if you don't know how to use it right, then you're like doing it. It's just too much. It's too messy. It's too much for me. But yeah, so if you're going to do a, a skin test, you take it, you put a little bit on your skin. And you can see how your skin reacts to it. Me, I cannot use this. Like I said, when I used it that one time, it itched. Um, but... This would be ideal if you want something that is, um, you can get in the water with it, um, but you just have to be very careful because, like I said, um, it has acrylic. The directions for this, apply in an upward motion. Oh my God, this is so small. Apply in an upward motion, a thin layer of Salon Pro 30 Second Extreme Hold Lace Wig Bond. A quarter inch from the front the front of the hairline backwards. Let dry for two to three minutes. Bond should feel tacky to the touch, not sticky. Affix the lace netting to the bond by pressing the bond into the netting until the wig is securely in place. Let dry for five minutes before styling. Um, warning, flammable. Pre-test skin area before using. If irritation occurs, do not proceed. Do not breathe fumes. Keep away from eyes. Do not apply to irritated skin. Remove only with Salon Pro 32nd Lace Wig Bond Remover. Keep out of reach of children. Do not use a relaxer immediately prior to this lace bond application or directly after lace bond remover application. This is intense. You in Grenada? Yes. Guess who's it? Hey, Carrie, I miss you. I can't wait to see you on Saturday. Um. So, yes, this, like I said, um, it's, it's for professional use only, but it's in the beauty supply store and you do not need a license to buy it. Like they're not going to check to see if you have a license to buy it, but on the bottle, it does say for, for professional use only. Um, I don't suggest this. I don't really suggest this at all. Um, it's very tricky. Um, it's very tricky to use this and it's, it could be very dangerous. And, you know, I just don't suggest this. This is glue. Okay? Now, we have this. So, if you watch my videos where I do use um, adhesive, this is the adhesive that I use to apply my wigs. 
um i used to use the regular bold hold um they have a regular bold hold and then they have an active this one is the active it's um oh geez it's supposed to be um sorry guys it's supposed to be um stronger a stronger hold than the regular one because they have a they have a regular one where everything is white um you guys should know i know somebody on here says they use ghost bond the ghost bond it, this bottle looks the same but it's not the same brand um it's not by the same company um so this is by the hair diagram bold hold active um this bottle this says this bottle is 35.99 this is crazy um on the website i think it's like 27.99 um but they probably just violated me at um at the beauty supply store by my house. So this comes with a skin protectant. Um, you're supposed to use the skin protectant on your hairline um, before you apply it on top. Um, must use boho skin protectant before applying boho active. Apply very thin layers up to seven layers. Each layer must be clear before adding the next layer. Attach unit allow 24 hours before getting wet. You may use with bold whole lace wig tape. Um, I don't use the tape. I used it, didn't like it. I don't really like tape like that. Um, no latex. Um, ex excessively oily skin, humidity resistant, waterproof. Now, this is a glue. This is an adhesive. Um, this is supposed to be water resistant with my, um, experience with using it is not water resistant. It's not completely water resistant and it's not completely, it doesn't act against sweat completely. If you sweat a lot, the thing about this glue is if your body temperature is hot and your skin is oily and you're sweating, this will not hold. I can bet money on it. Um, you have to be completely, like your body temperature has to be completely, you know, down. You cannot be sweating um, or this will not work. Um, you apply, me, I usually do three layers um, and that's it. And yeah, I do three layers, let each layer dry clear. And then you apply, so wig only in the winter. Let me tell you something. Honestly, that's how I feel. Like, in the summertime, I had got braids. And now I'm on some... I don't even want to wear a wig half the time. Because I'm kind of over it. But for the most part, if you want your wig to really, really hold and not go anywhere. And you really like that look. Because even when you do a glueless install, the lace is not stuck to your head. So... Depending on what you do, because glueless can mean different things. Glueless can mean you're just not using glue, you know, and you're using another product that may hold it for the moment. And then glueless can mean you're completely nothing on your hairline, nothing at all, but just the lace. So if you do glueless, I feel like with my experience with glueless um, installs, you don't get the the natural look like it doesn't look as natural because that lace needs to be melted into your skin in order for you to really get that oh that's coming out her scalp look so i'm not saying only wigs in the winter i'm not saying that but you will get you know that look that you want and it lasts in the winter because you can apply the adhesive you know or whatever even with the, the got to be glued all of these things are going to work better with the temperature is not hot that's just you know how it is and for the most part a lot of people don't even like to have wigs on in the summertime because it's too much it's too much it's too much i'm kind of overweight wigs i want to get a short haircut but that's not that's that's neither here nor there so yes so this is a glue so we have i also have lace grips somewhere in my kit but i use um so lace grip i actually had got from oh i'm sorry excuse me lace grip i had got from um i seen arrogant using lace grip 
this was a while ago this was probably about a year and some change ago he had put in his story the only glue that i use is lace grip so i purchased the lace grip to see how it acted and at that time i was using i don't think this had came out yet the the regular one was out and so i said you know what let me try because you never know what really works for you you know until you have like different things that you've tried so i'm like okay let me try it um i'm like okay let me try it so i tried it actually in one of my videos and i wasn't a fan it didn't work um yeah it didn't work and i didn't really like it um i used it on myself like if i was out and i wanted to like try to make it stick because they also sent me a pin which that was really good um Good night, all. No one to hear. So you need to tell me I'm not going to get the look. No, no, no. I'm not saying that you're not going to get the look. You can do glueless. All I'm saying is I find that the wigs look more natural when you melt them down. That's my opinion. But I'm not telling you that you cannot achieve the look that you might be going for in the heat. I'm not saying that. I'm sorry. That's just my personal opinion. Um, you can still do glueless, you know, and melt it to the best of your abilities in the heat, but you just have to make sure this is the thing too. You have to make sure that you give that glue. If you're using a bolt hole, you have to make sure you give that glue 24 hours for it to set period. You cannot get wet. You cannot sweat. You cannot do any of that stuff. So you have to be mindful of those things. So if it's constantly hot over there, you got to make sure for 24 hours, you're not going to sweat. Um, just make sure, sit in front of your AC when you do your installment so your body temperature is not, um, you know. Okay, so. Mm -hmm. Carrie, random thought. What is in now, wigs or lace fronts? Carrie, Ann, are you trying to be funny? Or, like, that was a serious question? <laughs> because a wig is a lace front. A lace front is a wig. So I'm trying to understand. Can you elaborate? Can you please elaborate? Because the difference between the two. Um, a wig. You said. you wait, With a wig. I can take it off. With the lace front. I really. You mean I really can't unless I have to? No. You can take, it's that, okay, so what you're confused about is the type of install you're getting. Because a wig is a lace, a lace front is a wig. A lace front would be the front of the wig being lace. That's what a lace front is. Um, a wig is anything like, that you take on and off on your head. That's what a wig is. Not not like a hat or nothing like that. But I'm saying like as far as hair is concerned, that's what a wig is. So it's the type of install you're getting. If you want to do a glueless install, um, you know, if you want to do a glueless install, that's how you would take your wig off every night. It doesn't have anything to do with it being a lace front or any other type of wig. You have closure wigs. You have, because uh, let's talk about a closure wig, for instance. If you have a closure wig, which would be like a 4x4, four a 5x5, four, a 6x6, five five, a six six, and I've even, now companies are telling me about 7x7. Seven seven. If you have any of those, that's just going to be this part in the front. It's only going to be like the widest is probably going to, if it's a 7x7, seven seven, this is the widest that it's going to be. It's going to be. It's going to be like this wide. And you can still glue that down if you wanted to and not be able to take it off so it's really up to you but for the most part i feel like full lace right now are very popular full lace wigs and front lace wigs full lace wigs um they don't last very long um because you know it's like little holes all over so you tend to lose your density out of the wigs the more you wear them um, you should know that if you wear wigs because your hairline, even if you have just like a, uh, you have a custom wig, but you have just lace in the front, 
the more you wear it, your hairline starts to get thin. You know, like all it is, the hair in the front starts to get thin and then um, you have to replace the frontal or you, you know, you have to move back to make a new hairline. So the same thing happens throughout the whole wig with brushing, combing, coloring, styling, anything, you know, pulling. So lace wigs, full lace wigs don't last as long as regular um, custom wigs. And then you have front lace so with your front lace like i said you only have lace in the front this front area 13 by 4 13 by 6 um this and then you have tracks in the back which that would actually last you longer because the tracks in the back are not going to shed the way the hair would shed on a full lace wig um yeah and then you have custom wigs so custom wigs you can use any type of closure and you can use however many bundles you like that can fit. Um, those tend to last the longest, um, especially because you can just use, reuse the bundles. All you got to do is reuse the bundles. And if you need to change out the closure or the frontal, you can do that. So I don't, I used to only wear custom wigs. I used to make all of my wigs and I used to wear all of my wigs, but I stopped doing that because the, the caps were, um, not irritating my head, but I find that it just was too much. Like, I felt too restricted. Like, my head was too tight and it was too heavy. Like, the cap on the wigs were too heavy. So, now, for the most part, I only wear front lace wigs or I wear full lace wigs. They're really light. And if you want to change... So, they usually come... Well, some of these vendors are just getting out of hand. I think I've seen, like, 250 density. Um, But you can do 130 me with my um vendor... Um, we carry 130, 150, and 180 density, but I've seen 200, 250 density um, also. Um, and I think one company did send me like a 250 density and the wig was like super thick. Um, but you can always buy a, a 130 density or 150 density. You can always add tracks to it if you want the hair to be thicker. But usually when the density is, well, not usually. When the density is lower, the hair is not as thick. So 130, you know, being the thinnest and 180 being the thickest. Um, this is too much. I swear how here in Florida. I want to come to Florida. Um, Listen, I'm going to tell you this. Wigs, wearing wigs is a lifestyle. Like, it's a lifestyle. It's, you know, it's a whole movement. And I'm not even trying to be funny, but it really is. It's a way of life because I tell my clients all the time, wait, I was trying to order some here and they asked me my head size. Should I get a large or medium? Would you, should I get a large or medium? How would you exactly know what you should buy? Um, well, Carrie Ann, when I made the last wig for you, um, I used a 22 and a half inch mannequin head and that's medium size. So, um, you can probably buy the medium, but is it a full lace wig or is it a frontal lace wig? No, I don't live in Houston. Um, I don't live in Houston. I live in Queens, New York. Um, what is this? I don't have a clue. Thanks for the tips. I'm just trying to like, you know, give knowledge on what it, what actually, what the things that you're actually using or you're seeing other people use and people having a misinterpretation of what it is that they're hearing. Um, I don't have a problem with somebody, you know, basically saying, you know, you're doing this and, or, you know, giving constructive criticism. I'm all for it. But don't tell me what I'm doing if you don't even know. Like, if you're not if you're not even right. Like, you don't even know what you're saying. You know, if you obviously are not familiar with the product. Do you assist with helping women get their first wigs? Um, do I assist in helping them? You mean purchase them? Or, like, um... Like, do I assist in what they buy or, like... Because I do any type of consultations. Um, I'm, I can help anybody with... You know, you that's, that goes into, like, what you actually want to purchase. And what you actually want to do um, as far as maintenance. 
So, um, but that goes in what consultation. So, yes, I do um, help people when they, you know, like, just like my client who's in here right now, um, you know, she's asking me, like, what should she buy and stuff like that. So, and knowing what's the right wig for you, you have to know what you want to do and what you don't want to do. You know, like, if you don't want to, if you want to take it on and off every day, there's certain wigs that you should invest in. If you want it to stay on or you, if you don't want to have to put glue on it every day or, you know, melt it down every day, style it every day, there's certain glues that you should buy for that. Um, so, yes, Carrie Ann, you said... Okay, I'm looking for a decent first wig. Um, okay, so if you're looking for a decent first wig, you need to first figure out what kind of wig you want. You want a closure wig, which, like I just said, on and off, no rule, I will have to book you. If you're in New York, you're definitely York. visit beautygame.com, schedule a consultation, um, and we can definitely go over what would be the best fit for you if you want to be able to take your wigs on and off um every day you know whatever stop whatever you you know want whatever you're looking for we can definitely i can definitely help you with that um okay so carrie it's a front lace wig well uh lace front wig so the front is lace um it's 13 by 6 um so, yeah, you should probably do the medium. I would say do the medium. The large might be too big. Because, like I said, I use the 22 and a half. So, you probably should go with the medium. Can you give me my ginger beer? It's right here. Right here. Thank you. Bruh, I didn't think you could have time. <laughs> yeah, so, does anybody have any questions as far as the got to be glued? Because we cannot keep revisiting this same thing over and over again. Um... Because it was really stressing me out. I'm like, you know what? You would think I know this by now. Yes, I would think you know this by now. You've been wearing wigs for some years now. He's definitely not a mood. Um, not right now, because he's getting me tiny. <laughs> I asked him to pass me my ginger beer. He takes a sip of it. This is not... Yeah, but... Yeah, so, like I said, if you wasn't here in the beginning... Oh, shoot. This is what our conversation was about. The yellow got to be, well, it was about got to be all together. We came, well, I came to the conclusion. Um, this is gel. This is not glue. So this will come out with water. You have shampoo, water, sweat, um, whatever. This will not hold your wig down forever. Well, none of them are going to hold your wig down forever. But this is not going to give you a hold, you know, that's water um, resistant. You know, like you you put water on this, it's going to come off. Um, so we talked about those. So this is the reason why I have it as a glueless install because we did not use glue to put that wig on. Um, to melt the wig down. We did not use glue. We used gel. Um, I know a lot of people use um, the spray as well. Like, because the more you use the spray, if anybody's familiar with the Got To Be Free spray, once you put it on, it starts to get tacky. So when you put, the same way you would apply the gel, you can apply the spray. If you put more than one layer in, each layer, it gets sticky and sticky and sticky as it dries, and then it starts to, you know, form like a tacky substance. So you'll be able to put the lace on it and melt the lace that way as well. Um, the thing that I find, though, when I use the Got To Be, it gets, after a while, the lace starts to get hard. And I don't like that. Like, the lace starts to get hard and sooner 
Because when you use, when I use the bold hold, I don't get that. Like, the lace never gets hard. It just starts to come up. And when it starts to get, get hard, it starts to change a different color. Like, it starts to, you know, and I, I, you want it to, even if it's, like, not on, you want it to still look natural. If you have a bob and you want to put a wig in the front, wait. If you have a bob and you want to put a wig in the front, how long can you put the wig for? Uh, if you have a bob and you want to put a wig in the front, how long you can put the wig for? I don't really understand what you're asking. If you have a bob and you want to put a wig in the front, if you have a bob, yeah, can you elaborate or can you explain it differently? If you have a bob, but you want to put a wig on the front, what do you mean put a wig? If you're putting a wig on, the wig is covering your whole head. So I'm not, uh. Or are you saying you want to, what do you want to do with, you want to put a wig on and wear it down? I'm like so confused. Does anybody else understand the question? And maybe you can explain it to me. I don't. Yeah, I don't really understand. It gets hard and flaky white. Right. Is your hair cut into a bob already? See, this is what I'm... <laughs> Carrie, it's not funny. This is what I'm trying to understand. Like, are you saying that you want to... Because I can understand. If you're saying that if you have a bob but you want to put a wig, a wig on the front, are you saying you want to just put a, a frontal on the front? Are you saying that you want to put a whole wig on the front of your head? Like, I don't... And leave your hair out in the back? Like, are we talking about your hair? Like, you got to be a little more specific because I really am not understanding. Maybe she wants to add length to the sides. But she said put a whole wig on. So, if you put a whole, there's no way you can get a whole wig on just the front of your head and leave the back of your hair out. If it's a whole wig. If you have short hair that can be braided, you can still wear a wig. Yes, it is a way of life. Wig life is difficult, but I'm still going for it. Oh, yeah, like I wore, like I swore you did a ponytail lace front. Yeah, so so that's why I was saying, are you talking about, uh, okay. So, your question was, if you want to put a wig on the front, leave your hair in the back. Um, repeat the question. Because you can put, it doesn't matter how short your hair is in the back, unless you're trying to do like a ponytail. You could always add tracks in the back of your hair. But if you're trying to do something like a frontal ponytail, um, normally... For me, when I do frontal ponytails with the hair up, I can use like a 12 inch, like a 12 inch frontal for the front. If I'm doing a, a frontal ponytail to the back, I usually do a 16 inch frontal because you want the hair to stretch all the way to the back and you don't want, you know, as you go further in the back, it starts to get thinner. So, um, yeah, it doesn't matter if you have a bob, you can still, as long as your hair can go in a ponytail or for whatever look you're going for, you can put a frontal in the front. I actually want to do a frontal ponytail, but, oh, or maybe if you could do a bob style with only a frontal on. Yeah. So, you can do a bob, if you have hair in the back, 
you can definitely just do a frontal but this is the thing that you have to short in the back and run tracks in the front but short in the back and run track in front but how long all right now i'm confused again short short in the back and run track in the front but how long I don't know how you saying your hair is short in the back, but I don't know how short your hair is in the back to tell you what length here. And okay, so you're not trying to put a frontal in the front. You're just trying to put tracks in the front. Frontal pony. Okay, but how long is your hair? You have to go by how long your hair is in the front, in the back. If your hair is 10 inches, you probably want to put like 12 inches in the, in the front. Um, are you talking about, so you're not talking about an invisible ponytail, or you're not talking about a frontal in the front. You're talking about uh, um, just putting individual tracks in the front. This is a sidebar while we try to get that together. Um, so I'm going to be announcing the Florida Look and Learn, um, the Florida Meet and Greet Look and Learn very, very soon. I just asked on my, on my channel, like, who's going to be purchasing tickets for Florida's class. I'm actually really, really excited to go to Florida. I'm in Florida, like, every year because my family lives in Florida. Um, but... Yeah, so make sure you go so I know who's purchasing ticket, who tickets, who's going to be in attendance. It's going to be fun. Um, I can't wait. Of course, it's not going to be till next year. I'm doing two classes in Florida um, because, you know, Florida is so big, so I'll be doing, you know, one on each end. As long as we get the, the you know, good feedback. Um, we're going to do two classes. But it probably, yeah, so it's probably because 